fat, there are so many randomly embarrassing things that I think would send skinny people into orbit if they had to think about even for a second. So let's talk about it. Something that is randomly really embarrassing when you're fat is chairs, bro. Why do people make chairs the way that they are made? I don't know because honestly, I have. You, you mean for humans? Do you, do you mean like do you mean like the seat? Like what do you mean? Why do humans make chairs like that? For people to sit into? I, uh, what are you asking exactly? I'm sorry that you've reached such a capacity of girth that chairs are no longer sustainable for you. But, like, for the majority of the human being race, they're pretty okay. Like, some chairs are kind of bad. Like, those white lawn chairs that always break and collapse after, like, four months of having them. Sure, those are bad. Or maybe stools. I guess stools are kind of uncomfortable because you have to, like, lean forward and there's not, like, any back lumbar support or anything like that. Sure, those are kind of bad. But I doubt those are the ones you're talking about. You're probably talking about the ones that are, like, slight a little bit too narrow or maybe ones that have arm holders or you know uh, maybe the ones that are not tall enough or you know, boots I've heard boots because the, the the table in front of you is pushing forward which in general is probably not even a problem with the chair itself but I guess you could probably deduce that is a problem or chairs that are not structurally capacible they don't have like the the, the amount of sustainability they don't have like the the structural compatibility in order to hold up the sheer amount of volume the sheer amount of density that that's on your body at any given point in time that's probably what you're talking about but it just kind of seems like uh like these issues are really really weird like i understand that it's difficult to like find dates and like I, this is probably gonna be like a weird thing to like hit somebody up on a dating app and be like hey um let's go on a date somewhere and then the, the, the person go on the other guy and goes like Oh, um, listen, when we go on this date, can you let me know where we're going? Because I don't know if we're going to be able to, like, sit down. Um, I don't know if the chairs are actually going to be sustainable. I don't, I, like, the what's the weight capacity? Do you know the waist, weight capacity on the chairs? Because I don't know um, if I'll be able to sit in those. Um, it's going to be really uncomfortable if I sit down because my stomachs uh, are really massive. I don't know if you knew this. I'm big back to hell. And uh, I got a big gut. And what happens sometimes is like when I sit down, the the arm the arms of the chair will sometimes like dig into the sides of me. It's really uncomfortable. And uh, obviously, if we're eating, I'm we're I'm probably gonna gain even more weight. So it's not it's not good. Can you just let me know where we're going? I've heard this these arguments before. Terrifying nightmares about not being able to fit in chairs. Luckily, I don't think this has ever happened to me where I was like out somewhere. Are you just like subtly bragging like other fat bitches have a hard time. <laughs> Like, other fat bitches have a hard time sitting in chairs, but not me. Never me. Dinner and wasn't able to, like, fit in the seat. Just some, like, random minor inconvenience, I would say, that happens when you're fat is I feel like I never get to sit in the booth at a restaurant. Like, unless it's only a booth. But when there's the booth part and you, a chair, I'm always sitting on the chair because I feel like it's just harder to kind of get into the booth as a fat. It's so sad, dude. Like, you guys are literally just depressing to listen to man really listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth like getting in and out of a booth in general is going to be a little bit more difficult than sitting in a chair i suppose because you have to shuffle into them and if there's other people side by side maybe you're the guy on the end or maybe the guy in the middle it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you if somebody needs to get up out of that seat because you're gonna have to move or somebody else is gonna have to move for you and i understand that's really difficult but if you're going out to dinner with somebody it's probably not that bad because you can just go out to the left or the right right am i wrong on saying that uh but if your main concern is literally like you don't know if you're going to be able to fit in the booth not the fact that you're concerned that you might not be able to shuffle out efficiently but the fact that the 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 table in front of you is going to like dig into your stomach i just kind of think that you guys have different priorities in life and for some really 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 weird reason you guys have deduced that and losing weight is not the thing that's going to, like, solve your problem. For some reason, you guys deduce that just not going into these restaurants or, like, going into the places that have these things in general. You just, you guys just, like, completely forsake those things. What, why? Why would you do that, though? Like, you do, like, that's such a bizarre way of looking at life. Like, if it's your issue, why are you now, like, sitting there and thinking, I just won't do this anymore? What? Why? You're literally, like, how old are you? Like, 24, 25, 30? How old are you? Whatever. You're, you're, like, I, I could see it if you were like 78, like if you were like 78 years old and you were like, ah, oh, I'm just not going to be able to fit in boots anymore because I, it's, just like, it's not sustainable for me. My, my, my knees, you know, I got arthritis on my knees or whatever. I don't know. I got hemorrhoids. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. I get it. But if you're like 31, 32, and you're talking about like, I'm not, I'm too big to fit into boots anymore. So therefore we can't, we can't do this anymore. 
Um, I'm good. I just don't want to date you then if that's the case. Like, I don't even understand how this is a prerequisite for you. Like, if we're going on a date and it's just like, hey, yeah, we just like, I can't go in there. Sorry. It's like, what do you mean? I'm fat. Like, I'm not going to be able to fit. And I know that it's like never been an issue for you because you're like hashtag fat phobic and you're really privileged and stuff like that. But for us fatties, uh, we just can't fit in booths. Um, also, the chairs in that establishment are not sustainable. I can literally see it from here. Uh, those things would be crinkling. Literally, they'd be on life support. They'd probably be shaking out of the sheer weight of my, my being. So we're not going to be able to go into that establishment. I'm walking away. I'm going to be like that one guy that walked away from that fat girl that we did a video on a week ago. Because it's just ridiculous. That's 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 that's, inc that's incredibly crazy that you think that anybody's gonna be putting up with that at all. Maybe you'll find some really down bad dudes that are like co totally fine with the fact that you're so fucking fat you can't fit in boots anymore or chairs. Um, but d are those really the guys that you want to be dating in general? Like the guys that are so like and they have no options at all that they're willing to accept somebody that's literally so fat they can't sit in conventionally sized chairs anymore? Like get, you know, fix your own fucking problem. You're too big. God damn. And that's really embarrassing. Like, I it's funny. I hear people say, like, this is really embarrassing, right? Because it's like, do you not realize that you're posting these videos to, like, potentially hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people? Like, I, whenever I hear people go, oh, my God, it was so embarrassing for me to go through this in public. Let me go ahead and talk about this to, like, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people online. Because, oh, my God, everybody has to hear this story. I just don't get it, bro. I just, I, for some reason, these people will say the weirdest shit and then they'll just like say it was embarrassing and then still say it. I have to be more uncomfortable just because I'm fat. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know. That's weird. Well, Lose some fucking weight. You're too big. Also, a really embarrassing thing is going to the doctors. Um, not just because they'll bring up your weight if you have like a skin condition and you're like, oh my god, I have this weird rash. They're like, oh, it's yeah, that's that's like extra skin. It's not a weird rash. It's just like you're chafing somehow. How how does this even pop? Like you have this. It is a rash, but for some reason, the skin flap from your your thigh is somehow flapping upon the skin flap of your uh. Your upper torso. I don't know how that's possible. But what's happening is it's an irritation rash. I don't even know how this is. Even, like, this has never happened in medical studies ever. You're actually an anomaly. I can't even believe that. I can imagine that would be a conversation. Have you considered it's because you're fat? True. That's embarrassing and uncomfortable, too. But the fucking seats at a doctor's office or dentist, any type of thing like that. When I go get a freaking Brazilian wax, like... You getting a Brazilian wax? That's your size? Man, I feel bad. I feel bad for those Vietnamese women, dude. Uh, or I guess um, Puerto Rican women. I don't know, man. I've never been. I haven't been into a. I haven't been into a salon in so long, dude. Uh, because like, why would I go into a salon, dude? Like, what the fuck am I gonna go in there for? Just like, see if I can get a glimpse of a vagina every once in a while, dude. There's like nothing going on in there. Like, I, I, you know, look at the women that are spending fifty or sixty dollars on getting their nails done and feel bad for them. Whatever, bro. I'm not. I'm not doing that shit. But why are you? getting a Brazilian uh is it oh it might just be hard because I know that when you're this size shaving in general like no matter what you're doing is going to be very very difficult for me it's very easy like you know just doop, doop, doop. I've never shaved that, that 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 place down there but I have groomed it I do prioritize the other person's um safety but I know that when you're this size it's very difficult I've even heard some stories of women say I have to literally have my friend come over and she has to literally meticulously shave it for me because I, it's no longer sustainable for me. Now, really think about the scenario that you're in where you're calling up your girlfriend and you're going, hey, oh my God, bitch, like, guess the fuck what? I got a date tonight and you know mm, it's with Ricky. So, mm, um, but I'm gonna need you to get your ass over here and mm, do a girl right. You know what it is. Yup, mm -hmm. bring that shit over. You already know Venus, bring it. And then she has to come over with the Gillette, you know what I'm talking about? And just shave it down, dude. What the hell are you doing, man? Like where are we are, where are you in your life where you don't think losing weight is the best outcome? Instead, you gotta literally slave labor your friend to come over and freely shave your vagina as if like what are you guys even doing while this is occurring? Like I guess you could watch Nightmare Before Christmas while it's happening, but if you don't if you don't pay attention, dude, <laughs> I mean shit might go down. You know what I'm saying, dude? Those seats where I have to like I I mean um, this could be because I'm short. I'm like five foot four, but I feel five like foot four and you big. Man, that's a bowling ball right there. I have to jump onto those you know the table no guy has ever had a problem with a short isn't that average five foot four isn't that average for women five foot four 
Like a five foot four, five foot five. I think the average height for a man is like five foot eight, five foot nine, five foot ten, or something like that. Yeah, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean you're short? That's normal. Uh, okay, whatever. Pick me ass shit. Oh, what has the fucking paper? Why is that so hard to do when you're fat? And also, if the paper rips, I feel. Well, okay. Here's why it's so fat, right? Because you weigh a lot, gravity applies to you more because you weigh more naturally. Um, it turns out that when things are heavier, it takes it takes more energy to lift them up off the floor. So if you have to jump, for instance, in order to get into a chair, uh, for me, it wouldn't be that hard because I'm like 150 pounds right now. But for somebody like you, when you jump into a chair, god damn, bro, you're gonna have to, you, you have to lose a lot of energy to like push yourself up off the air, off the ground, off the earth into that chair. So that's that's no reason. I feel really embarrassed, which I think happens to everyone. Like when you're... Wow, I mean about that one it probably happens to people a little bit more than others like you know d d d depending on how high the chair is but uh most of the time we're not having those issues so i don't know about that don't throw me in that same well as you bro i'm not in that on top of one of those doctor chairs like obviously no. the paper is just gonna get a little fucked up a little crinkly whatever it's fine but like for me if it rips i'm like it's because i'm a fat ass like they're gonna know i'm fat true i mean they're, they're looking at you so i mean it's not like the paper is gonna really indicate anything other than maybe you didn't wipe girl they knew you were fat when you walked in the building yeah this is like some deep insecurity these people emanate off themselves and for some reason they don't realize that they're like projecting so much of it outward by saying this stuff they don't realize it's like dude this is not normal thoughts like you do realize like the fact that you're thinking about fucking a paper as like oh my god now they know i'm fat when you're looking i'm looking at you and i'm going yeah you're fat like what do you mean i feel like having anything be messy or dirty when you're fat is really really embarrassing for no reason i think because fat people are seen as like smelly dirty disgusting like that's kind of a stereotype if my room is like messy like not even dirty just like has a lot of shit around clutter i feel like i get judged and it's seen more as disgusting rather than if another girl who's skinny had like a messy room it'd be like kind of quirky and be like oh she's so messy she's who's coming into your room though like who's coming into your room and saying how messy it is who's judging you like that like your mom or something like who i guess maybe like potential candidates like boyfriends or something who like so she's so unorganized but like for me it's like oh she's disgusting can't even take care of i her. say that because i don't think that she has really any like I've, I've seen videos on this one before she has like perpetually no dating life she always complains about it so if it's a man it's probably just, i mean let's be honest here for a second uh the least the thing you got to worry about is the fact if your room is messy you, you you perpetuate so much insecurity on a daily basis herself I'm like bitch i'm just lazy okay like sometimes i don't have the perfectly clean oh i know you're lazy <laughs> i can see it room get a grip Walking upstairs. Crazy. Uh, it's just like, it's getting crazier and crazier, dude. Like, I, we, uh, dude, we gotta stop right there. You know what I'm talking about, dude? Talk about some walking upstairs. I don't know where this is gonna go. Obviously, you're gonna go to the elevator because walking upstairs seems to be a big-ass issue. But why are we even talking about this shit to begin with, bro? I, this video was literally titled, like, Dating Struggles. Like, sometimes I don't have the perfectly clean room. Get a grip. Walking upstairs is another humiliating experience as a fact. How, how often do you walk upstairs? Like every day, right? Uh, so do you just like perpetually being humiliated all the time? Like that's just a normal occurrence for you? How do you go through your life? You just like, you're so depressing to listen to, dude. All the shit you're saying consistently is just, I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed. And the reason for all of it is literally I'm fat. And then somehow you're still fat. Why do you still why do you still put yourself in this category of bleg if you don't want to be bleg? Why are you dealing with all these problems if you don't have to? Man, just like living your life on hard mode for no other reason than just to live your life on hard mode. I guess you like food. Like everybody likes food, dude. It's okay. I get it. We all want to put food in our mouth. But like, is it really worth it to be eating all that extra food given the fact that you're dealing with all these extra problems, bro? Walking upstairs is crazy as hell. You might have had something on the doctor thing, right? The little doctor mat things or chairs kind of, I guess, still pretty depressing. But walking upstairs, get a fucking grip. Good Lord, woman, you're a solid ass, grown ass woman. And you over here talking about something that's embarrassing to walk upstairs? Can you please? Wait, wait, talking about walking upstairs is embarrassing and posting this on the internet is actually unhinged. Uh, and also being in a warm environment, just feel like you're not allowed to say that you're hot well how many stairs is it like that's what i would need to know if it was a if it was like a flight of stairs and you was sweating 
after that flight of stairs or you were sweating up on the half the half flight of stairs yeah you're big as fuck uh that's 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 kind of crazy but if you it was like let's say for instance four flights of stairs maybe five flights of stairs i think anybody would be sweating off that depending on how many breaks you took and you know you depending on how you, how good you i think anybody would depending on how hot it was right um but if it was like one flight or like less than one flight and you 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 was just sitting there going <gasps> oh, uh, whoa i'm lightheaded Oh my god, like, I, you know, I think anybody would look at you and go, you're fucking fat. Like, this is crazy as hell, like. Or hungry, or. Hungry after, what do you, hold up, bro. What, do, why are you, what do you mean, like, I'm hungry walking up a flight of stairs? Like, what are you talking about, what? So, you not only you sweating, but now you hungry walking up stairs? What is this, what, what, what situation is this? Where are you where you're even having a conversation with somebody and telling them that you're hungry Walking up a flight of stairs, some big back ass shit. What the hell are you talking about? I've never heard somebody say that shit before in my life. What? Yeah, I was walking, I was walking up a flight of stairs, and I was just, damn, I was just thinking about that, that brisket. Oh man, that shit was marinating my lips with my saliva. I just couldn't stop thinking about that. Shit. You know what I'm talking about, Sarah? <sighs> like, where are you? Where this is happening? I'm not allowed to say that you're hot or hungry. <laughs> Or out of breath. Like, you have to pretend to I, be I, I, I can't even believe we're talking about going upstairs. Like, uh, maybe the out of breath and then being, like, sweaty makes sense, I guess. But, like, what do you? why would you ever bring up you're hungry while walking upstairs? Like, you... Where? How? What, what, how does that even happen? Like, what is this environment that you're in that's warm, wet, and, and you're sweating? Talk about some of you hungry. Like, this sounds like a whole kink fest. This sounds like you're recording some different type of video, bro. Like, can you imagine? This is this literally sounds like some feeder shit. Like, literally, a woman, a, somebody documented the journey. Like, a guy recording a woman walking up the stairs, out of breath as fuck, talking about all the great stuff that she loved on a McDonald's menu. That's literally what it sounds like. Like, she's out of breath, sweating, you know, gl glazing. Just literally look like a glazed donut, just dripping off herself. Talk about how much she loved a Big Mac. How much she'd be putting that shit, just not even eating it, just wrapping it around her lips. You know what I'm talking about? Just like, kissing the Big Mac. Talking about some, she's hungry. Who are you talking to when this is even occurring? Be not out of breath when you walk upstairs. Yeah, what about hungry? Even if though? there's a lot of stairs, that any person would be out of breath. That's true. How many how many stairs though? How many stairs you think? Um, but when you're fat, I just feel like you're not allowed because yeah, it's I'm like, more concerned about the hungry thing. Talk about the hungry thing. Really embarrassing to be out of breath and fat because you're just like, because it just feels like everyone around you is like, bitch, this fucking fat yeah, ass. What about the hungry part though? I don't really care about being out of breath. That hungry part actually is super concerning. <laughs> Even though they're probably not thinking about you. I know. I know. But it's just you, a thing. Eating who are you talking about, though? Who are you talking about when you're having a conversation about this? Unhealthy in front of skinny people is so just like, ugh, I hate going through a fast food line. I just feel like the workers are judging me based on what I'm ordering. If I'm ordering too much, too little, I don't like walking through my apartment with a, a fast food bag. But on the flip side of that, I also feel judged when I eat healthy food. So it's like you just have problems. Like it just sounds like you in general, you just have major issues. Maybe these are things that you should probably not be talking to us about and maybe like go to a therapy session or four and then maybe talk to your mom about it. A family member, somebody in your life that's not gonna be judgmental as hell, bro. Like hey, you talk about the internet saying things like this, man. You talking about some going to a going to a fast food place and you up you 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 thinking that the people behind the counter are judging you? Have you ever been to a fast food place? Man, these people don't give a fuck. What? Man, these dudes is working for, like, what? $12 an hour uh, trying to get you the Big Mac? Dude, they don't give a fuck, bro. Are you crazy? These people don't care. I don't... Why the fuck are you burdening yourself with so much of what doesn't matter, bro? I swear these people just be breeding insecurity and act like this shit is uh, normal. It's not normal. This is actually abnormal as behavior. You, do you have no one else you could talk to about this? I mean, I'm a good person to listen. I do. I like listening to people. I think people are infinitely interesting. This is sad. This is sad and depressed. It's like there's really no winning here. If I'm in line at the grocery store and I have a shit ton of junk food in my cart, I feel embarrassed. But also if I have extremely healthy food, I feel embarrassed too because I just feel like they're like... Okay. Yeah, this bitch is buying some healthy food because she needs to lose weight, right? Is that what you're thinking? Okay, so this bitch is on a diet. Yeah. Like she's trying to get skinny. Good. Good job. I don't know. I it's weird. And I definitely feel like, obviously. I feel like you, uh, like when I was a kid and I used to, you know, like make these big, 
Because when I was a kid, we used to go up to New Hampshire and we used to get the, all the food up there because it was like no sales tax on certain shit. So we would get a whole bunch of stuff up there. And um, I remember I used to feel so bad because we used to eat a lot of TV dinners when I was growing up because nobody in my house knew how to cook or whatever, right? And uh, I thought people were judging me. And sure, maybe some people were judging me. But here I am as a grown man. I don't give a fuck if people see what in my cart. Like, what are you fucking, what are you going to judge me because I got like a Jif, Jif peanut butter over the organic shit? Suck me the fuck off, bro. Don't act like you're doing anything better than that. You're eating some brown fucking eggs and thinking that my egg choice is bad, dude. Shut, what are you paying, like $8 for that carton of eggs? I'm paying literally three fifty for mine. And your eggs is not anywhere close to even, like, even half the price, you know, in the difference. But... If there are people judging you based off what you have in the car, so the fuck what? They, these people literally burdening themselves with what you got in the car. They got nothing going on in their day. You want to appease these people? Fuck them. These people are. T <laughs> these people got nothing going on, bro. Get a life. People don't think of you as much as you think they do. But these are just some weird things that you think are embarrassing. No, 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 no. You, no, no. What do you mean? Some things that you think? I, I don't know about that. Like you can't. You can't just be throwing me under that. I mean, maybe something that you think, but not for me personally. You can't. Don't don't throw me into your weird shit. You're fat. <laughs> Genuine question. Nine inches. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> my bad. Nine inches. <laughs> That's way too small. For my skinny counterparts. Like the passion twists. Um, it's pretty nice. I was. I've always liked passion twists. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Vaseline on the lips. Why is it that y'all feel that because I happen to have more fat around my stomach? Or my thighs. Damn. Or even my back. Damn. That because I happen to have more fat, I don't deserve love. What do you mean by love? What do you mean by that? What is that? Make it make sense in the comments. Well, I, I would need to know what you mean by love. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you mean like boyfriend, girlfriend, obviously. But like, do you think anybody deserves love? Like, do you think, okay, like, granted, there are people out there that probably find relationships very, very easily, right? But that's not most people. Most people do have to put in a lot of effort to make it work. And sure, there might be those anomalistic people that could just make it work with anybody. But then again, most people are not like that. So when you say deserve love, nobody is deserving of love. Everybody that has love currently as it is, is working extremely hard in order to maintain that or get it to begin with. So when you say like, why don't I deserve love? Uh, it's not because you're fat. It's just because you're a shit human being. You're just not put, willing to put in the effort in order to appease another person. For some reason, you're exor exorbitantly selfish and you think that you should just get stuff because you exist. And obviously, being fat is not uh, going to benefit you because most people are not attracted to fat people because having fat on your body is literally just a detriment from head to toe. Uh, not even just in the fact that you're physically unappealing, but also the fact that you're physically unhealthy. Most people just don't want to deal with the fact that you're physically unhealthy. And most people are just not going to, they're not going to like pursue you in that particular front. So when you say like, because I'm big backed or big bellied or big thighed, why don't I deserve love? Because you're fat as fuck and most people are not willing to deal with that and you think that people just deserve love. That's an issue. Like, you're, the fact that you think you're entitled to it is a problem. Nobody's entitled to it. Everybody's working extremely hard for it. Like, it's just what it is, bro. For some reason, I don't know why you think that you're just entitled to it. Because at this point, if you're trying to tell me that the only reason, because there's a couple videos I've been watching, and they're like, you know, the reason I'm single is because I'm fat. I need y'all to make that make sense. Those people are stupid, and those people are – you can get plenty of menses. Um, you can get plenty of boyfriends, BFFs, boy, you know, whatever you want while being fat. I've heard many women say this, right? It's fine. There are plenty of guys out there will, that will definitely cater to you while being fat. Now, granted, most of those guys are probably not dudes you want to have approach you because most of these guys are really, really down bad, or they just don't have standards in general, or they're not willing to tell you the actual truth of the circumstance. In all cases and in scenarios, it's not a good situation, but – when you see these people saying, like, I can't get a boyfriend because I'm fat, they're saying the quiet part out loud. Because, listen, um, fatness is going to negatively affect you. It literally probably takes a pool of people that are going to be attracted to you. Let's say, hypothetically, it was like 80% of the people because you get that weird foot, foot, foot fungus condition, right? And that really, really, really weird one ingrown hair that grows in on your shoulder consistently. And uh, that's, say, 80% of the population, the male population, hypothetically, let's say that, um, really, really wants you. Let's say you gain an extra 120 pounds. Let's say you were supposed to be 130, but you went up to, let's say, 250, 260, right? You're realistically taking that 80% and reducing that down to 
probably down to 20%, if I'm being honest, okay, hypothetically. And now when you sit there and you go, why am I not getting boyfriends or whatever candidates? Because you literally took that 80% and turned it down to 20%. It's going to be harder now. You funneled down these dudes to a drastic degree. And a lot of those 20% are just creepy guys, dudes that are trying to smell your vagina and tell you that your breath smells like garlic bread. You know, these guys that are trying to like literally lick your toenails with sweet baby rays on there. Um, these are the guys, right? Now, if you're okay with that, that's fine, but that's going to be a predominant reason, okay? And also the fact that you're entitled and you think that you just deserve love. Why the fuck do you think you deserve love? You're not. You're just a, you're just a regular person like everybody else. Um, you got to work for it. You got to have to, like anything in life, it's not something as simple as like, oh, I should just get it. You're going to have to make yourself desirable, and that's also going to have to be the fact that you're going to have to make yourself physically physically attractive. Anybody, that, anybody that's been dating anybody knows this, but if you're a woman, you one of the main features that you're supposed to be working on is your physical attractiveness because if you're trying to appease men, Men, most men are looking for women that are physically attractive. Now, I know that a lot of people out there would say, well, men are really one dimensional. I know. But what do you want from me? That's what the other that's what the other sex is wanting. OK, now I'm not saying men are not looking for the secondary features, but I am saying that the physical attractive part is like the biggest part. OK, now, don't get me wrong. There are plenty of women out there that are also looking for guys that are really, really attractive as well. But it's not as much as it is for men wanting physically attractive women. So if you know that women are like hyper focusing on looking very, very attractive because they know that if they look very, very attractive, it's going to be physically appealing towards men. And here you are looking like a straight two. Then what are you talking about? What do you wh why are you even upset at this point, bro? You're not good looking. That's not going to apply for most men because you're fat, because you have all this other stuff. It's not going to be very it's not going to be very attractive. Now, if you're a lesbian. If you're a lesbian, uh, I can't talk on that. I don't know, bro. I've talked to a lot of lesbians um, that don't really care about themselves physically, and they, they have no problems finding dates. So if you're a lesbian, you can let me know. I have no idea how it works, man. Immediately. What is it that makes me less human? I wouldn't say... Why do you people have to go to the... Okay, hold on now. When you say you people, what am I talking? Black people! I'm talking about black people! You people, for some reason, right, big-backed individuals, for some reason, want to boil yourselves down to not human because you think that somehow that makes your – it's disingenuous. You're not having this conversation in good faith if you're sitting here trying to demoralize yourself down to the opposition thinks that we think you're not human. When have you ever heard somebody say, if you're fat, you're not human? When the fuck have you ever said, when? When has that ever been a thing, okay? That is ridiculous. And the fact that you have to go there is so incredibly disingenuous. It's fucked up even. Why the hell you gotta say that shit? It's, stop. <laughs> Just stop, okay? Nobody doesn't think that you're not a, a, a human being. All we're saying is that if you're fat, it's gonna be difficult for you to find love and nobody just deserves it. You're entitled. Get off that entitled horse. You're breaking that motherfucker's back, too. I mean, let's be honest here for a second. That motherfucker gonna have scoliosis after you sit on that shit. Immediately. What is it that makes me less human? Hmm? Nobody said less human, dude. Like, what do you mean? Less desirable. Well, that's, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, the physical. Physical looks, 100%. As a human. Uh, because human beings are not supposed to be overweight by, like, most metrics. Like, if you're up in the Alps somewhere or you live in, like, a very, very snowy uh, environment, maybe the extra weight probably helps you with thermal protection and other stuff like that. But uh, live, given the fact that most people nowadays live in, like, big metropolitan areas, like cities and such, uh, we just don't need that anymore. We just don't need it. So um, through the processes of uh, society and, uh, you know, how we've evolved as a community population, we just don't need to be big anymore. Um, and I know that you probably don't either, given the fact that I probably think you live in a city too. So when you're bigger, that's going to be very, very unattractive for most people. It's just not, it's just not good in most situations. So there's that. And you're very, very unhealthy as well. Mm -hmm. When frankly, we've already, the myth about fat equaling healthy has already be, been debunked. By who? Who debunked it? Can you please give me the information of who debunked that? I would love to know who debunked that being fat and uh be okay let's say hypothetically that if you were fat let's say hypothetically you were obese and that somehow you weren't fat i don't know how that's possible but fine you could say that um we'll just say this hypothetically obviously nobody believes this shit even you probably you don't believe this shit let's be honest uh even if that was the case physically you're not attractive because most people are not attracted to somebody that has extra weight on them it's just not like according to like most people they just don't want to be around somebody that's fat have you ever had tried to have sex with somebody that's really really obese i have 
Not good. Not for not, I, what I'm doing all the work. You, you know, in the middle of it, your wig falls off, bro. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, okay? Like, if I'm having sex with somebody, presumably who's a woman, I don't know actually necessarily. If you're watching fat pornography, most of the time you're looking at this person, you're going, is this a man? Is this a woman? I don't, this could be gay porn. I don't know. Because, like, you're not seeing anything. No indications of genitalia. No indication of, of, of that person's gender. You don't know what's going on. Same thing could be said of having sex with a fat person. You're just doing stuff and you're just hoping that whatever you're doing is beneficial for the other person, but you can't really tell because you have to go through a mound of fat to even see their face. So you're just sitting there, hopefully, doing something to appease the other person and it's all it's all ambiguous it's all a grandiose illusion you have no idea you could be literally in that person's thigh you could be in that person's belly button you have no idea how do you know you don't know and then then it's like what are you talking about man like this is it's just not attractive for most people okay that's the reason all right and by the way uh it has not been debunked uh, who told you that's been debunked that myth has already been, because a lot of y'all skinny folks out here ain't healthy. You don't see me going. Okay, that, it's a false equivalence to say that thin people, a lot of thin people are not healthy. Therefore, fat people are obviously also not, like, also fat people could be healthy because they're fat. That's a false equivalent. There are plenty of thin people that can be unhealthy, but that doesn't mean that being thinner doesn't mean that you could, you're going to be more healthy. That's stupid. Like, that's a dumb way of looking at it. What are you talking about? Uh, 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 uh. You eat too much pizza with your skinny self. I'm not dating you. Whoa, you calm the fuck down, bro. I eat pizza like maybe once a month. That's not too bad. Don't see me doing that. Well, maybe not pizza. So make it make sense in the comments. Quickly. Uh, no, I don't know about none of that, bro. I mean, look, dude, this video should have been perfectly articulate exactly the reason why you're having problems with all that shit. You're so pretty. You're so funny. We love your hair. Why are you single? Well. that one who the fuck is saying that i don't know uh, it's kind of weird that you got so many people telling you something that's obviously not true i don't know people just lie people lie i don't know how to tell you bro sometimes people just say shit all right that it is what it is i've had people literally tell me the same thing oh david you're black come on me being black come on stop it guys oh my god am i black oh my god stop stop people lie how in the world do you not have a man's yet? This is a backhanded ass compliment, bro. I swear, dude. Because it's implying that this person is great, but yet they still can't find a boyfriend. So it's like a, it's so backhanded, dude. And I know this person's probably thinking about it as a good thing. It's not. That's fucking terrible, dude. It's because I'm fat. True. <laughs> I don't know how else to say this. They'll do everything for you for sure. Big girls who date. How is it going? Sure. But loving out loud is just not an option. Okay, call me your plus size big sister if you want. We gotta do better with these wig installations, man. If I can see where the lace is, man, you didn't apply it correct, okay? We need to blend that out a little bit better and we need to prioritize actually getting some, hey, listen, I understand wigs are extremely beneficial especially people in the black community because you're you're trying to obtain protective styles to ensure your hair underneath grows. And I'm all for that. That's awesome. But I just kind of think if me as a white dude and a dude, first and foremost, uh, can see where the lace starts, you didn't apply it correctly, okay? Uh, it would have been better if you just had worn that George Washington shit. That would have been way better. But anyway, go off, queen. Okay. Call me. I also don't like the lip line as well. I don't know. I have something about it. Just don't really feel it. Plus size big sis. I'm going to put you on when it comes to dating as a plus size woman. Or you just lose weight and just not have to deal with this. But go ahead. Okay. Here's the thing. So in her video, she was talking about dating as a big woman, asking for advice, saying that she knows a lot of men's vulnerable business. But when it comes to being seen in the public, it's just not an option. Actually, <laughs> it should be the only option. And I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. Men are not dumb. Men are not stupid. And even though sometimes they can do stupid things, some of them, right, some, they know exactly what they're doing. There are some men that are ashamed of dating plus size women, big women, fat women, whatever. I've had men, high caliber men, whatever you wanna call them, men that make a lot of money, all those things, that would say, I would definitely, I would sleep with a big woman. I'll buy things for a big woman. I'll even put a big woman up. But I wouldn't I wouldn't marry her though. 
I wouldn't show her off to my family. I okay. wouldn't. I wouldn't make a family with her. Keeping a buck. It, that's it, not. That's fine, dude. If a guy's gonna keep it a buck with you like that, that's all right. That's all right, dude. Um, if a guy has a lot of money, uh, I've heard this before. Where like for for instance, a lot of people think that money is some indication that somebody like really really cares about you and it could mean that it depends right on the purchase and things like that but oftentimes if somebody's making a lot of money and somebody drops like a thousand dollars on a bag or two thousand dollars on a bag when that person's making two hundred thousand dollars a year like that's probably meaningless to that person like two thousand dollars is probably just so incredibly small to that individual that dropping it on you is probably like not even like he probably doesn't even care about it right now two thousand dollars for somebody making three thirty thousand dollars a year is probably a lot but uh you get what i'm talking about just depends on the circumstance but if you're talking about dating a guy this high color high high caliber guy money's probably not an issue so i would never look at money as a big thing especially if you're dating those guys there's a lot of shame still in 2024 in dating plus size women okay with that being said you need to go where you're celebrated and not tolerated woo plus mickey d's uh kfc that's not a race thing uh, these individual places, I don't know exactly where you fat people commulgate. Um, clinics, I guess, right? Always having problems. And it seems like you're dealing with a lot of boys. Mm, would you say that they're boys? That the guy's just going to keep it a buck with you? I mean, if you're talking about dudes that are just going to straight out tell you, like, I'll have sex with you, I'll buy you some shit. That sounds like a guy that's going to be, he's, he's being transparent. That doesn't sound like a boy to me. Um, now, if a guy is sitting there just stringing you along, and he's telling you that he's gonna be your boyfriend, he's gonna be your girl, he's gonna be your your manses or whatever, dude. And he has no intention of doing that. I mean, obviously it's up to you to sniff that out and hopefully not give this individual what he wants and you're not getting anything in return. That's something that obviously obviously that that's up to you to discern. I don't think anybody should be in those categories. Um, but sometimes people do it on the other end as well. Like sometimes uh, women will hold men emotionally hostage and uh, men will hold women sexually hostage, right? And we, th both of the time, like men think they're getting something out of it and women think they're getting something out of it, right? It's fucked up on both ends, obviously. But um, you can't just sit there and be like, they're boys. It just depends on the ones you're talking about. Like if you talk about the high caliber guy that you were talking about, I, don't, I wouldn't classify him as a boy. Not men, but boys. You're dealing with a lot of boys that do not take you seriously, that don't see your intrinsic value as a woman. I don't understand exactly when they say, like, intrinsic value as a woman. Like, what are you talking about when you say that? Like, in the year 2024, I, I find it so interesting how so many people want to boil each other down as, I am a man, therefore I do this. I am a woman, therefore I do that. I just think it's really reductive, and that might have worked probably... You know, 50, 60, 70 years ago, back when women literally physically could not work because it wasn't set in the law um, and men only had to work. But nowadays, like, it's pretty malleable, right? Men are capable of doing a lot more stuff and women are capable of doing a lot more stuff. So if you want to sit here and you say, like, oh, you know, men do this, women do that, that's bullshit. That's not true. Women can take out the trash. Men can also um, work the household chores and stuff like that. It, it's, it's, it's really interchangeable nowadays. So I don't really like the whole, like, oh, you got to treat me like a woman. What do you, what does that even fucking mean, dude? Like, how many, how many jackets do I got to throw on the, on the, water on the fucking side of the the curb in order for you to walk across it you know what i'm talking about how many meals are you gonna cook me in order for me to be appropriately appeasing you as a woman like i just don't understand any of this shit anymore i think it's like really really reductive as a beautiful woman at that well i don't know about that i mean that's kind of you know I'll, how about you leave it up to me i mean you seem like you can't even put the ring down here man why the fuck this ring so goddamn high up why the fuck is this shit not down here this one too i think it must be thick as a black woman what what the black woman got to do with anything but go ahead don't don't play with me mm -hmm. if you want to be taken more seriously with dating you're gonna have to give yourself more boundaries boo that makes perfect sense definitely um if you want more options make yourself less optionable yeah make it harder for you <laughs> make it harder for you to find more people definitely this is gonna work awesomely 100 percent, definitely so if the dating pool is like 10 percent, make it two percent obviously and you gonna have to come up with your own boundaries. But let's say your boundary is, hey, I text a dude for a week. If you take me on the date, I'm I'm done. So I'm done. Yeah, I mean that's all. That's is that not already a boundary? No, I, I did not. Okay. Right, and having those kind of boundaries may seem extreme. That's extreme. If you talk to a guy for a week and he doesn't take you on a date, and you think that's not extreme, okay. I mean, I wouldn't 
say that was extreme, but okay, I understand. It may be an example, not the best. To some people, but having boundaries really gives you space to have better experiences. The men that actually want to show up and be in your life and have a genuine connection, they're going to step up to the plate. If a man can't follow through with what he's saying, baby, another man will do it gladly. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's true. There is probably another guy out there that's willing to do it. Are none of your rings like further down past the knuckle? Why is it why is it all the all the rings are like that? Why? Why do you have so many rings that don't fit? Okay, I am living proof of that right now. Boy. Well, that's like I hate it when people say like I've I have this experience, therefore you can have it too. If you're an anomaly or like you have a manses or whatever and he's taking care of him, he's doing all the stuff that you want him to do, th that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to also find that same thing just because you found it. Like that's not how that fucking works. Like somebody going like, hey, bro, you want to be rich? Just do what I did. Play the lottery. You know, win the lottery, bro. You know, just go and play the numbers and then when you win, you'll be just like me. It's real easy for somebody to say that, that won the lottery. It's real easy for somebody to say that shit when they got the bag. But for somebody else, it's not gonna just work like that. It's not how that works. It's, 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 you're just gambling. Okay, this man. Go I'm, ahead, go ahead, brag about him. Go ahead, go ahead, you got the bag, go ahead. Wait. You can have that for yourself and don't, you don't ever got- How come your makeup doesn't match like your forehead? How come it's really brown, like red brown on the bottom and then like not, not that much on the top? Like what happened there? Didn't, didn't blend it, right? A big no man, the real man that want to deal with you, that want to be with you, baby. You do the choosing and the picking, not them. Okay. It depends on what you mean. Most of the time, dudes will tell you this, but uh, men ultimately are the ones that choose to be in a relationship with you because that's usually how it works. And then women are usually the ones that withhold sex, right? Usually. So I would always say to um to bargain with what you got. Like if most guys want to have sex with you, then. And you're looking for a relationship don't have sex with them obviously wait it out you know take your time now granted if you want to have sex with random dudes fine I, I that's fine i don't care but if, if you want a relationship it's not going to be it's not going to be beneficial for you to just have sex with everybody because most of those guys are not going to stay around you know like the key phrase like why would i buy the cow if i can get the milk for free don't play don't play with me okay date men that want to date you how do you know how do you know which men want to date you though is it is such it's such a it's such a nothing statement. Date men that want to date you is such a, a, a absolutely meaningless statement. Like, can you tell us how? Like, what does that mean? What what how do I, what what men do I look for? Don't don't repeat yourself to these grown men. They grown baby, and you are not nobody's therapist. Okay, that seems like a lot of projection here. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Hey. Okay. They can tell you they vulnerable business. Hey, if you're not taking me on a date, boo, what are we talking about? Um, if you aren't, what what do we what? It's uh, so a guy's like telling you about his like childhood drop like trauma, and you're just like, mm, before you tell me about that shit, but tell before you tell me about your uncle and what he did to you, uh, when the fuck are we going out? Like, when the fuck are you taking me to Olive Garden? Intentionally dating me, you on? I'm gonna go. You need to go in and intentionally black them. Okay. What? Cause. Time is valuable. Time is the only thing that you cannot get back, baby. You can get money back. You can get you can you can go on another date. You can do that. You do not get your time back. So a man gapping his lips, he can go to therapy. But if you want to talk to somebody about his vulnerable business, hmm. And that's what I mean. Like, it's there's nothing wrong with having standards and actually being a little mean, baby. But whoever said there's something wrong with having standards, though. It will, it's gonna save you from a lot of confusion, a lot of extra, a lot of stupid stuff. Deal with the man I wanna deal with you. Deal with men that actually wanna date women right <laughs> as opposed to men like what are you talking about what date date men that want to date women yeah, wow <laughs> wow life-changing information there's a woman is like telling you meaning meaningless information like if you get anything from this woman i guess like date dudes that are like not just trying to smell your vagina i suppose all men do okay and on top of that even if you're not dating just solely dating if you just want to boom boom you feel me make sure that it's because you want to not because they've kind of pushed you and forced you into that position people always try to humble plus size women big women fat women whatever you can have whatever you want but well, and i said i don't know about that you can't have whatever you want let's be honest here for a second i see it okay i hope this helps it didn't help but thanks anyway appreciate you bye all right guys that's the end of the video today um Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, 
I would appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in yellow because I feel like we need some more representation with the yellow color. And I feel like a lot of people don't like yellow. I think yellow is pretty cool. It's a very neutral color, um, very soothing color as well, unless it's uh, something to do with your liver failing. And in that case, it's not good at all. But you know what I'm talking about. Overall, it feels pretty good. Um, it also makes you look like you're from Mexico. I don't know why every movie tints the camera for like a yellow or orange texture to make it seem like you're in a different country, um, southern of the border, which is really weird. But anyway, um, speaking of things that are very, very spicy, things that are very, very cultured, we're talking about somebody like you. We're talking about how beautifully cultured you are, how amazingly well spiced up you are, and the way that you de you decorate your skin with lotions and moisturizers is not gay. It's not gay to use moisturizers. It's normal. It's natural. It's a part of life. You should want to use moisturizers on your skin. That's amazing. I love that for you. And to top it off, you do it so accurately. The way you apply it and the way you don't miss any other marks. That's amazing. It's beautiful. It's spectacular. I enjoy that for you. Thank you for applying it and becoming hydrated on the skin and not just in your mouth. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.